Centrum Silver. So if you want to use Centrum Silver, that's all well and good, but it isn't going to provide you with a whole heck of a lot of nutrition. Is it going to hurt you? No, it's not going to hurt you. It may hurt your pocketbook a little bit. I think it costs you about 20 bucks a bottle or so, but and for what you're getting, it's certainly not worth that. But it's not going to hurt you in terms of toxicity. It is the minimum wage. It's better than nothing, but you sure do deserve more. Get yourself on the Mighty 90. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Osteo FX, and the Essential EFAs. That's what I would be doing. And if you want to throw in a multiple vitamin, use the Ultimate Daily, which is probably a lot better product than the Centrum Silver. Uh, that's just my opinion. Does that help you, Joe? So you're saying I should use that, that Tangerine? I'm saying yes. Get yourself on the BTT in addition to the Centrum Silver, and then you probably want to throw in the Ultimate EFAs too, uh, in addition to the Centrum Silver, because you're not going to get a, you're not going to get your essential fatty acids out of the Centrum Silver, or for that matter, out of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So there's 90 nutrients you need, nine zero essential nutrients. We call them the Mighty 90. You're going to get some in the Centrum Silver for sure, but you're not going to get the dense amounts that you need. You'll get the bare bones basic, the minimum wage. It's like working for minimum wage. That's the best analogy I can give you. And I hope that helps, Joe. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. All right, Jenna in Oregon, what is going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How you doing? I'm doing good. I love the BGC, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And I have two questions, pretty quick question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the first one is for the dosage definition for the um, supplement. Like, okay. for example, like um, magnesium glycinate. You okay. always recommend like 2,000, 2,000 to 2,000 milligrams. Yeah, yeah. So do you refer to like an elemental? Or the yes. 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 Component? I'm not talking about the glycinate. That's a very good question, Jenna. Whenever you hear minerals, you're all, there's no such thing as just magnesium in terms of supplements. It's always magnesium. Magnesium carbonate, magnesium uh -huh. oxalate, magnesium glycinate. There's always a second word after a mineral. So same with selenium, same with uh, zinc, and same with copper. All these... All these minerals always have a second word. That's called the salt form, technically, if you're a chemist, but it's not really important to know that. So when we talk about 3,000 milligrams of magnesium, I'm talking about 3,000 milligrams of the magnesium part, not including the glycinate. Now, fortunately, okay. m most supplement manufacturers will tell you in parentheses how much magnesium is in there, and so all you got to do is read the bottle. But when we talk about zinc or copper or whatever we're talking about, we're talking about just the mineral, not including the second word, the oxide or the carbonate or the or the sulfate or the glycinate or whatever it is, we're only talking about the mineral. So 3,000 milligrams of magnesium glycinate means 3,000 milligrams of magnesium. Forget oh, wow. the glycinate. Okay? Okay. All okay. right. Well, so, okay, the second question is related to bone soup. Yes. Um, um, you talk about um, the uh, high hyaluronic acid yes. that's yes. been inside the cartilage, right? Yes. So it's good for, you know, bodybuilding, you know, yes. cancer tissue, all those stuff, cell all division, stuff. everything, right? Yes. But how do you balance it, you know, for the intake of it for... Um, With the other sugars the, and all the other, all the no, other components? No, 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 for cancer patients, because, you know, cancer cells, you know, they thrive in the... Ah, that's a very... Good. That's an excellent. That's an excellent question, Jen. In other words, new, cancer cells use nutrients just like any cells do. <laughs> cancer cells use nutrients just like any cells do, except cancer cells are growing really fast, so they're using nutrients even faster than other cells. They're really burning through nutrients. So if you take hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, protein, whatever you're doing, your cancer cells are going to use them up even faster. Correct? You know, they're going to uh -huh. they're going to feed them. You're going to be feeding your cancer cells. Well, here's the problem. So some doctors will say, well, don't use supplements. You're just going to feed the cancer cells and Logically, that kind of makes sense when you, when you first think about it. But the fact of the matter is because your cancer cells are burning through your amino acids and your vitamins and your hyaluronic acids so fast, that means your other cells are going to be deprived and you're going to be even sicker. So, yes, it's true that your cancer cells are burning through nutrients super-duper fast, but the way I look at it, that means it's even more important that you get nutrition in in a supplementation fashion because you're going to be your other cells are going to be deficient because your cancer cells are stealing all those nutrients. And, in fact, when it comes to deaths from cancer, we don't really die from cancer as much as we die from malnutrition because the cancer cells are stealing. They're robbing nutrients from other cells. So if you're not supplementing, your cancer cells are using up all your nutrients. All the other cells of your body, the vast majority of cells, which are not cancerous, are going to be vastly deprived of nutrition. And that's why it is important to supplement. That's, that would be my answer to you, Jenna, how you balance that out. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so do you suggest, sounds like you're suggesting, you know, um, uh, for cancer patients, you know, they should uh, take more, uh, everything, more, you know, yeah, more everything, yes, soup, everything. except calories. Everything. 
More everything except calories. That's the one thing a cancer patient does not want to increase is their calories. A cancer cell, a patient does want to increase nutrition. This is the so-called CRAN diet or CRON diet, which is the single most important anti-aging, age-reversing, longevity-inducing, disease-reducing strategies you could ever use. If you have an autoimmune problem, if you have cancer, if you have a degenerative disease, if you have an inflammatory disease, if you've got wrinkles, if you're aging fast, whatever it is, you absolutely 100% want to be using the CRON or CRAN diet, which stands for calorie restriction with adequate nutrition or the calorie restriction with optimum nutrition. That means keeping your calories low but keeping your nutrients high. Best way to do that is to eat nutrient-dense foods like bone soup, like animal products, and to make sure you're on a good nutritional supplement program. That's my advice and, to anybody who's dealing yeah, with cancer. And also reduce the intake of sugar. Absolutely. Sugar, I mean, sugar and, and cancer. Just- Absolutely, Jenna. Sugar and cancer are are soulmates. They go hand in hand. In fact, calories in cancer are soulmates. Calories represent heat, and cancer cells utilize energy and burn energy faster than any other cells of the body. So the more calories you're ingesting, that's really where the problem is. Uh, Cancer loves calories. Cancer loves sugar. Cancer loves acid. And cancer hates oxygen. In fact, if you had to pick one thing to do to prevent cancer, I would tell you the deep breathing and oxygenation techniques. All right, if we left you on hold, I apologize. Give us a call back tomorrow. We'll get you first up. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much for listening, friends. We will be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots, make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com.